he's, I think he takes it personal. Yes. I think he, 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 it's man, it's a freaking sport, man. Is <laughs> is more to life than what it is. Yeah. People say, oh, fighting is my no, man. Fighting is not my life, man. My life is my family, man. Is is my friend, the, the people I love. This is what I do in my life. Is not my life. Fighting, if fighting is is over, it's over. I turn around and do something else. You know what I mean? Like is what I do in my life. It's not my life. You know what I mean? It's not the end of the world, man. There's more to, to life than fighting. Well, it's funny hearing that from you because you would, you would expect to hear that from someone who isn't considered one of the greatest of all time. But you're considered one of the greatest of all time. So it would be very, ar- it would be very hard to argue your approach because it's been so successful. They, they, you know, they, but people they, think they got that you it, have they, to be super obsessed. I'm super obsessed, Joe, but that's why I become crazy. Then I stopped for four years. Then when I came back, I, 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 some of my circuit and the brain... Dzz, 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 then I, anal- <laughs> I start to analyze myself. I'm like, why am why I become crazy? Why did I stop? Because I'm taking this stuff too seriously, man. Uh. You have to take it for what it is. You know, like yeah. it's a world championship fight. I'm fighting. I was fighting Michael Bisping after four years. People, oh my god, the fight are promoted on drama. Yeah, and like John said, John Danar, he says, is like fight are not one on drama. Are one are on mundane things than we do every day. Yeah. That's how fight are one. Yes. How you program program your your uh your cruise uh, uh your 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 cruise driver, you know, to yeah. your, your 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 autopilot to win the fight. That's how yeah. you, you you me I see it a fight like an autopilot, you know, like so when I fight when I prepare myself for a fight, especially for the tactical part, I program like a computer. How I want to react against that specific problem. How I'm gonna take care of that that specific problem. The only way to program it is to do repetition. Repetition and repetition and repetition and repetition. It's like uh, you said uh, at one point, uh, Eddie Bravo said like tying tying up your shoes. Yes. Because we've been doing it so many times, you can talk to someone, the same thing. Yes. When I get into a fight, I analyze again and I'm fighting and I see what pattern he does the most often. So I want to program my computer to react to that pattern that would give me the advantage into the fight. I don't know when, when that pattern would occur, but I want to program myself that when it occur, I have an answer for it right away. I don't have to think about it. I don't yeah. think, I just react. And that's my problem when I used to fight and I got a lot of criticism before I was thinking too much. Towards the end of my career, I had so much pressure, I didn't perform as well as I was earlier. Mm. Especially my last fight before I, I stopped for the four years, I was thinking too much, overthinking, too, putting too much pressure. Like you said, it's too serious. You have to take it for what it is. It's only a fight. In a, 10 years, you know it's you know it sucks if you lose, but man, it is what it is. You know yeah. what I mean? Don't take it for, don't make it bigger than what it is. It's only a fight. And sometimes it's something very therapeutic that I like to do before a fight. I drive a car. I, when I fight in Vegas, for example, I drive a car or New York, same thing. I drive a car. When I used to fight in Vegas back before my fights, I used to be very, very stressed. And one of the very therapeutic things I, that I like to do is drive my car around and see normal people. Then I go and <laughs> I, no, but I, I'm gonna explain to you why I drive and I see an old lady with her grocery store bag. Is that? And I'm thinking, like, she doesn't care if I win the fight Saturday or not. <laughs> She's not even going to hear about it. Then I look, right, oh, right. it's another guy yelling to another guy because he, whatever problem. Oh, this guy is going to the bank to pay his, his mortgage stuff. They don't care. They don't care, you know. The effect that I have on the universe is so freaking small. Nobody cares. I'm the only one putting the pressure on me. Nobody yeah. gives a damn about it. So that's why they helped me to perform now. That's how I, some younger guy, they say, oh, they, I'm nervous, how do you, I heard you don't sleep well the night before. I said, yeah, it's true, I don't sleep well. I said, what is your trick? How do you find a way to sleep well? I was like, ah, I don't really sleep well either nowadays. I said, well, how do, but how do you feel better about it? I like, I just know that I'm not gonna sleep well and it's not <laughs> gonna affect the outcome of the competition. It's just a normal thing. You learn how to deal with it better. You're not gonna change it. Yeah. You just accept it. Yeah. The stress is your friend, man, that's going to make you react, that's going to be on the edge. Have you ever slept well before a fight? Never. Never. Only one time. 
Which fight? When I fought Matt, Matt Serra. <laughs> and I got knocked out. <laughs> and then after that knocked out, I got so scared that it happened again. It's the most humiliating day of my career. I was so angry. Like I said, I was like putting too much on myself. It, it started there. It's like, I didn't even want to go to, to buy eggs at the grocery store right? because people, oh, they, they look, oh, you got knocked out. I, I thought everybody cares about yeah. me. Nobody cares about you. Nobody yeah. cares. It's only a small percentage of population. Nobody gives a damn. And even if they do, what? You make a mistake. You, you zig when you should have zagged and you get clipped. So what? Everybody make mistake. You have to take fight like it is. You know, it's a sporting event. That's why I don't take it personally. Like, like when I have the problem with the Diaz, bro, I, no problem, man. It's a fight. It's not personal for me. You're, you're in my life now. You, you won't be there in 10 years, maybe. Maybe you will. I, who knows? It's only like a, a chunk of life that we share together. And then after he's gone, no problem with that. That's definitely a better attitude to look yeah, at it that man, way. Yeah, That's what it is. That's how an athlete, they should think, you know? And that, that's, that knowledge that I have is with years of years of competition you know all the the problem i have the colitis and all that that's because of that 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 bs that i got it like putting too much on me you think it's that's normal if it? i fight again it, it, it will be it will go back the same pattern i will i will not be i will be very stressed and it's normal to be stressed but i will accept it i accept it better now than i used to do